What's up everyone? I hope you're all doing well. Now you've probably been using WhatsApp for a long time, but that does not mean you've discovered everything it has to offer. In this one, I'll be showing you some WhatsApp tips and tricks that you probably didn't know about. With that said, let's get on with the video. Oh, yeah. In a time where fingerprint scanners are very popular in smartphones, a lot of people still don't know that you can lock your WhatsApp with your fingerprint scanner without using any third-party apps. In 2019, WhatsApp rolled out an update which adds an extra layer of security for its users on both Android and iOS. The feature only works in select devices, so if your phone has a fingerprint scanner, you should be good to go. To turn it on, Click the three dots on the top right, go to settings, account, privacy, and it will be down in the list. Now, whenever you're sending a voice note, I know a lot of people might prefer to listen to it first before they send it. However, most people don't know how to do it and it's quite simple. While recording, you will notice a padlock floating. Drag your finger to it and release. This will allow you to continue recording even if you're not holding on your screen. Once you're done recording your voice note, you need to click back and then go back inside the conversation. You will now be able to listen to your voice note before you can send it. WhatsApp has a media visibility feature. It allows you to hide or show WhatsApp media content in the gallery. To turn it on, you'll need to enter the specific chat which contains the media you want Click on the profile of the person and you will see the media visibility option. You can choose between yes or no whether media will show up on your gallery from here. If you have ever wanted to read a message that was previously deleted, I'll show you just how you can do it in very simple steps. The first thing you'll need is to download a third party app called WAMR. I'll leave a link for it right under that like button. Now this app will allow you to retrieve deleted messages and media and other than that you can also use it to download a WhatsApp status. When downloaded and installed, set up the app and whenever someone deletes a message you will instantly get notified and you can retrieve the messages from within the app. You can easily transfer files between your PC and your phone. All you need to do is create a WhatsApp group, add a random password, preferably friends or family, kick them out of the group, and you've created your transfer space. Next up, you need to open WhatsApp Web on your PC, scan the QR code with your phone, and you'll have synchronized your working space with both your PC and your Android phone. Anything that is sent to your group will now be accessible from both your PC and your smartphone. To send anything from your computer, you can just open the folder where the file is located, drag it and drop it on the group chat window. Here's a little bonus for those who have made it this far into the video. You can hide your read receipts or blue ticks on WhatsApp by clicking the three dots on the top right, going to accounts, privacy and then selecting read receipts. This has been around for a long time, however what I'm sure a lot of people don't know is that you can still check if someone is ignoring your messages even if they have turned off their read, their read receipts. To check if they're ignoring you or to check if they've opened your chat, just send a voice note and even if everything else does not turn blue, when they play the voice note it will turn blue. If you liked the video or found it useful, just make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below for future content. I'll also be making a follow-up video to this one, so stay tuned for that. That's all for me. Until the next one, I'm out. Peace. Familiar. Familiar.